Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to go over the Big Bang. So let's get started. It says here that the Big Bang Theory is an effort to explain what happens at the very beginning of our universe. It suggests that there was a Big Bang and the universe was formed, and that the universe continues to expand. Now, Big Bang is put in quotation marks because, fun fact, the Big Bang wasn't actually a Big Bang, but a rapid expansion or inflation from a singularity, i.e. a single point. So if you look at this picture here, the Big Bang started as a singularity and rapidly inflated or rapidly expanded to get to where we are today. So this picture represents what's happening over time. So we're going from the point of the Big Bang over here to the present day. And I'm just going to take you through each part of that in an animation. So we're going to hover along each of these and read what it says. So we've got temperature and Kelvin on the top and we've got time along the bottom. So about 10 to the minus 34 seconds after the Big Bang, which is a very short time after the Big Bang, it's unknown what happened due to a lack of knowledge of physics at these extreme temperatures. Then about 10 to the minus 6 seconds after the Big Bang, there was a dense sea of quarks, electrons, neutrinos and photons, so lots of particles. And then about one second after the Big Bang, the quarks condensed into protons and neutrons. Radiation was too energetic to allow the formation of nuclei. Then about three minutes after the Big Bang, Protons and neutrons combined to form the nuclei of light elements like hydrogen and helium. Then a bigger jump in time to 3 times 10 to the 5 years after the Big Bang. The first atoms formed, photons were no longer energetic enough to knock electrons out of atoms, and the photons were now free to form cosmic microwave background radiation. Then going to a billion years, 10 to the 9 years after the Big Bang, stars started to form, and then about 3 billion years after the Big Bang, 3 times 10 to the 9 years, galaxies and clusters of galaxies started to form. And now we get to the present day where cosmic microwave background radiation has now cooled to about 3 Kelvin. It's actually about 2.7 Kelvin. And the wavelength of this radiation that was emitted at the time of the Big Bang is now thought to be in the microwave region. And this is known as cosmic microwave background radiation or CMBR. Going back to the notes now, what actually happened during the Big Bang? Well, we looked at this during the National 5 course as well, but it says that our universe is thought to have begun as an infinitesimally small, infinitely hot, infinitely dense singularity, i.e. a single point. So it's a very hot, very small point. After its initial appearance, the universe inflated, expanded and cooled, going from very, very small and very, very hot to the size and temperature of our current universe. It continues to expand and cool to this day. We're now at an average temperature of the universe of about 2.7 Kelvin, which is actually a very cold, which is actually a very cold and cool temperature to you and I, because it's about minus 270 degrees Celsius. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.